Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Biker TV merchandise, shirts, DVDs, posters. Wasp Cam, film, edit, share, prove it. Welcome to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, more of the second annual VON Poker Run. Artistry and Iron Motorcycles with Edjo. Bikes, Blues and Barbecue at the 10th Annual Dutch Mason Blues Fest. But first, the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup. Everything is the Motorcycle Roundup. It's our annual charity event for pediatric cancer research. Everyone here is a volunteer, works their heart and soul out. They love their community. And it's just been a wonderful day. Yeah, I really gotta mention, who's put a lot of effort and time into this entire thing and their fine line embroidery and graphic design right down beside the Cumberland Hotel here. started yesterday with All-Star Wrestling and uh, today is our show and shine. We have vendors all over the street. We've got uh, the LAJ BMX Stunt Riders. We have now got the Van City Stunters coming up to perform. There's uh, been body painting and robots and robotics and uh, belly dancing and live music and Polynesian dance. up my mouth out and talk in my ear. Jean is one brilliant lady. We've been on the road for two weeks traveling around and uh, we've been trying to get to this show for about three years now and this is our first time at the show and uh, we're excited to be here. Oh, it absolutely exceeds my expectations. The weather's beautiful, the crowds are awesome, the people are awesome, and uh, we're really enjoying it. I've named this bike Blue Dragon, uh, and Dragon is spelt D-R-A-G-G-I-N, uh, and the reason being is I've got it on air ride and I have titanium drag blocks in the bottom end, so I air it out on the highway and uh, I shoot a shower of sparks about 150 feet behind me. That's how it got its name, and uh, but it started out as a 2009 Harley Street Glide. Uh, this is actually the fourth version. The bike was red, then black, then white, now blue, and uh, so I uh, have an OCD problem with uh, converting my motorcycles. And uh, yeah, but uh, I've done a lot of work to it this time. Stretched all the body work, uh, did a lot of motor work, suspension work, and uh, this is how it's turned out. It's a local show here on Vancouver Island. Uh, we try to support all the shows we can on the island, just because there's not many of them. And uh, so we figured we'd come up here and show off some artillery. It's got a lot of interesting stuff, and uh, the bikes are showing good, shirts are selling, beer being drank, it's all good. 
I think it's definitely grown since last year. Yeah, it's seen a lot more vendors, a lot more people coming in. Yeah, it's looking good. The roundup began when our mayor, who, uh, who came to me and said that she would like to create another event here because we had lost several, and uh, she asked how a motorcycle event would go over. So her and I teamed up, and uh, six years later, this is what we've become. After the break, Artistry and Iron Motorcycles with Ed Joe. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Spady Transport, now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Spady Transport. Dragon Jeans, what Biker TV rides in. Protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Advanced Welding Techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Tilbury Auto Sales RV Yamaha. One-stop shop, over 300 units in stock. RVs, power sports, autos, Yamaha. Financing for everyone. TilburyAutoSales.com. Closed captioning by the Ryan Villapoto Bike Charity Auction. Support Radio for Radiation. Here with Biker TV and just brought out a few of the, the old artistry and iron collection of some of the more vintage bikes that we have and uh, there they are, and this is the old show. This is the original 1980 trailer that we used to go across Canada and please a lot of people, but we're sort of bringing every note in the open and starting to expose things again, and Biker TV was one of the first to be invited to film some of the bikes that we have. So enjoy yourself. He's hung in. McBride's motorcycle shop that was at Queen and Church for many, many years when I was a kid. I used to go there every Saturday just to look around at all the old bikes and that, right? But on the walls, this is the type of the posters that you've seen in them days, right? Mind you, it was a big old building, right? And they had lots of wall space. At 750 Norton, I drove for about three or four days. A friend of mine brought, bought a brand new. Well, it was all really through AMF that Harley got into them. AMF was, had just bought Harley, and they wanted to produce more products out of fiberglass because that's what they were more interested in was fiberglass production. 
but they became major shareholders of Harley Davidson. So they tried to push Harley to make as many products as they could that they could get involved in to make money. I know they were more expensive than buying a Harley Skidoo than say a, a Moto Ski. That Skidoo new might have been $695 but you could buy a moto ski for 400. So because of that, they didn't sell very well because of the price for one. Plus if a guy wanted a skidoo, he didn't usually walk into the Harley Davidson dealership. Or he'd go to a, a sled shop, which were just starting out in the early 70s. To give you an idea, in 1970, I bought a, two new skidoos. One was a 400cc moto ski. I paid $400 for it. The other one was a 440 with an electric start, and it was $440. And for $160, the guy gave you a brand new trailer, a two sled trailer to pull your skidoos around. So you could pull out of a skidoo shop in them days for $1,000 with two new sleds and a trailer. About 1971, when they took possession of uh, being distributors for Canada, right? Before that, Dealies was just a dealership, and Harley Davidson parts all came from the United States. But the wait, if you had a shop in Toronto and you ordered something from the States in them days, you might wait three weeks for delivery. So, what Harley really wanted to do was set up a distributorship and a warehouse in Canada. So they put that option up, and who tried to get it for years was Percy Poole, who was very instrumental after that was uh, Ronald Reagan. When he was president uh, of the United States, he got a, a deal where if he caused employment in Pennsylvania, that they would help Harley buy Harley back off AMF. So they up with the money, the American government, so the Harley would buy their shares off AMF and get them all back and move to York, Pennsylvania and cause employment in Pennsylvania and took it out of Milwaukee. And that was roughly 1977 because the last thing you wanted to do was buy a 1977 Harley. After the break, bikes, blues, and barbecue at the 10th annual Dutch Mason Blues Fest. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs, artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs. Award winning custom trucks and big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 gauge customs. Welcome to Biker TV. Buy bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV.
Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where Biker TV goes. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Flat Track Canada. Doc's Leathers, criminally insane prices. The CMDRA, drag racing action. It's the 10th anniversary. It's one of the most popular festivals in all of Atlantic Canada, and there are some fantastic international headliners. I'm gonna win that big one, yeah. There's an amazing bike competition that takes place in a big top tent in the middle of the events grounds, and there's bikes from all over North America that come to compete. And on Saturday afternoons, they have a wicked kind of slam down, and there's prizes and awards for the best bike. And behind me is the barbecue competition, where people are kind of having a little bit of a showdown for best sauce, best ribs. They've been cooking here for five hours. And in about an hour, we're going to have a winner for the best ribs. The blues, I mean, it's all around you here. We got bikes uh, over in the corners, lots of great things. And then barbecue just seems to go, uh, just seems to go hand in hand with it all. What's different with competition barbecue is a lot of times you'll hear about ribs that fall off the bone. That's not what we're looking for here. We want people to bite into a rib and you should see exactly where your, where your bite was. If it comes off the bone, the rib's overdone. And if you gotta pull at it like a dog, it's underdone. So it's, it's a little bit different. So we've, you know, we kind of take her pretty serious, but we're having a great time. We have baby back ribs today, four slabs. About five hours. The biggest secret is to start with good ribs. That's one of the keys to know what you're looking for in a rib. You can use all kinds of rubs and sauces and there's all kinds of smoke and mirrors to that. But if the meat is not right, then it won't help. Uh, we're here for the barbecue for sure. Low and slow, low and slow. It's a great way to uh, get out, hang out, see our beautiful province, listen to some good music, and uh, definitely uh, need some good food. It's all like family. It's grown every year. You can go and ask any one of them, you know, for a tip or a trick, and they're more than happy to share their information with you. So he decided this year that we were going to do this. Went out and bought a cooker last week put together some recipes based on what I like. I, I don't know if uh, everybody else is going to like it, but we'll see. I've been uh, doing this competition since it started, and actually I'm the inaugural winner. Always interested in barbecue, did a lot of traveling, and seen a lot of barbecue joints and got into it. Once the competition started happening around the Maritimes, it's been uh, a lot of fun hanging out and doing some barbecue. Once I got a taste of it, I just couldn't let it go. It was, uh, Unbelievable flavor, and uh, and then once I get into the competition side, this is only my second one, but I just you wish there were more of them because uh, good camaraderie and uh, learning new things from everybody uh, every time you go out. So a really good time. My name is Luke LeBlanc from Kent County Custom, Shadiac Bridge, New Brunswick. We usually come down for the weekend. It's a great time, lots of bikes, uh, nice music, good food. Brought a couple bikes down just to show our diversity. So we can um, pretty much, uh, you know, go from a custom bike to a restoration. Just picked up the, the 1940 Indian. Uh, it's my personal bike. Actually found it exactly like that. It was parked since 1961. I'll be the third owner. The guy I purchased it from had it for 18 years. So uh, literally, it was pretty much found like this. It's quite different to drive than uh, a regular bike. 
We're here to judge some ribs today. You guys uh, like the ribs? You like the barbecue, huh? Huh? All right, all right. So we uh, sat down and we had so many absolutely inspiring entries. It was absolutely uh, fantastic. We've judged you on taste. We've judged you on the appearance. We've judged you on your tenderness. And that's what we judged you on. Okay, the winning sauce teams are, yeah. Numbers one and four. And in first place, the Grand Poobah, the champ for another year, number three. Rob, how does it feel now? How many years has, has this, uh, this been? This is quite a tradition. Two, anyway. Yeah, this is the, the third time. The third time's the charm. They're fantastic ribs. After the break, more of the second annual VON Poker Run. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Ontario Truck Driving School, your path to success. Training for your future. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Biker TV is brought to you by Universal Cycle. We don't just sell motorcycles, we sell motorcycling. The CMDRA, drag racing action. Conquer Motorcycles. Classic vintage motorcycles at Dream Cycles. Kane's Harley Davidson, complete sales and service. It's been a great day. Yeah. The yeah. weather wasn't really with us, but it's smartened up and look at it now. Oh yeah, the sun's come out for the end of the day, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good solid group of riders came out to uh, in support of the VOM. Oh yeah, the bike riders are uh, hanging tough with the bikes and they were out early and uh, everyone seems to have had a really good day. Yeah, we got wet a few times, but we dried in between. So yes. we're, just, we're happy. That's good. We're happy. Yeah, yeah it was a great day. I'm glad you got to join us on the ride today, Chris. Uh, so am I. It was awesome. You need I, a day off. I do, and it was nice to have a few hours off, so it was great. I enjoyed the ride last year, and actually this year, too, even with the bit of rain we had, it was still a nice ride. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, you were smiling even though it was pouring. I was. I couldn't stop. I loved going out. We were at Dockside and had the riders register there and get their cards stamped, and it was awesome. They are an enthusiastic, fun-loving group because they were having a blast out there, even with the rain. Some of even us look a little rain. rough around the edges, but bikers have a very good heart, very yes. good soul. One of the riders said that um, only as little as a week ago, the VON had been going into their home for IV therapy and um, his wife was gravely ill and she's done really well because of VON going in and nice. offering the services so that was really nice to hear. I think that's important to people that are ill to have someone come in that's a friendly face and someone that's positive to help yes. with their care yes. and, and not yes. have to go into a hospital or whatever. To be able to stay at home I think that's wonderful. The 
it's for community programming and without the dollars that are raised we can't do any of the things that we do for the community so it's really important. We uh, help people through all stages of life, so we have uh, programs for kids. We, um, we have the student nutrition program, uh, which helps uh, to feed kids as well in schools, breakfast and snack program. Nice. And then in, um, when people get sick, we're always there to give them a helping hand. So um, uh, the sort of help that you get in your own home from personal support workers and visiting nurses, we do all of that. Right. And then uh, the things you'd be more familiar with, which is um, the programs for seniors. So we uh, help with seniors exercise programs uh, to keep seniors healthy and well and independent and activity is yeah. a main part of staying well absolutely keeping them active. Yeah. And then um, at end of life, even we have a range of palliative programs. Oh, yeah. So we do volunteer visiting for people who are um, perhaps near an end of life and people who are isolated. So we team people up with a volunteer and um, they get a visit in their own home. And what that does is it allows them to stay in their home longer and it helps keep them independent and out of hospitals and institutions. Right. I just wanted to say a, a massive thank you to all of you who came out today. Uh, you, you really are the troopers because you braved some uh, pretty atrocious weather. In third place today, uh, the, the hand was uh, three queens with a ten high, and it was Paul Oulette. In second place, um, just shading out Paul actually with a hand that was also three queens but it had a king high, is Tony De Silva. Now the big moment, the big winner for today. And uh, the winning hand was three, three kings. That was the winning hand. And today's winner is uh, Jerry Kelman. A big thank you once again to all of the guys at Dukes, at Robinsons, at Bayside, all of the stops that put on all of those um, fantastic facilities and welcomed us so much. And thank you all for coming out and supporting VON. We really appreciate your help. Well, that wraps up a finally sunny second annual VON Poker Run. Many thanks to Chris and the team here at Duke's Harley-Davidson and all our riders today for their support. Helmets off to the Victorian Order of Nurses Chatham-Kent for all they do. Thanks for watching, and until next time, like us on Facebook, check us out at bikertv.ca. Keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Get left behind. I don't believe you. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, we're back at the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, Vancouver Island's biggest biker bash. More Dutch Mason Blues Fest in Truro, Nova Scotia. More Artistry and Iron Motorcycles with Edjo. We're in Sudbury for Rock Fest. Biker TV is brought to you by Wasp Cam. Film, edit, share, prove it. Biker TV merchandise, shirts, DVDs, posters, Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. We should have met years ago.